Today I'm gonna find out what happens when you only open three pack blisters. I've got a dozen three packs of Scarlet and Violet here, six Arcanine promos, six Dondozo promos for a total of 36 packs of Scarlet and Violet. And I wanna know, am I gonna get more pulls out of these dozen three packs than I did from my booster box? While I take all of these packs out, drop a like on this video, drop a sub on the channel, and let me know in the comments what your favorite card from Scarlet and Violet is. What's happening guys, welcome back to the show. 36 packs, only from three packs. Let's go through all of these promo codes first real quick. Bam, get you all of these Arcanine and Don Dozo promos in the online game. And this is one of my favorite videos to make. I always love to open a dozen of the three packs whenever a new set comes out. But this time around, I'm not sure. I feel like the booster box might win. My first booster box from a few days ago had 14 hits in it. So let's see if we can get at least 14. That would mean every one of these three Three packs needs at least an EX or better and some of them will need to and because there's so many of them here's how we're gonna do it today just like this swish just gonna swish right through the pack swish now, I'm not gonna say that every time I open it because you'll go crazy so just one more time so I can get it out of my system swish okay here we go let's just go through all of them now 36 packs Honestly, if we can get at least one secret rare today, ah, it just hollows in that one. Any secret rares, and by that I mean like alternate arts, not the new way that they're calling secret rares. You know what, I don't know. I don't know if I can just swish through all of them. Every other once in a while, I might have to just go through them just like this, and there we go, I picked the right one to do it on. Drowsy, illustration rare, character rare. I don't know if I want to play these games. I'm going to call them character rare still. Drowsy hiding a Maridon EX. Nice little double hit there. Here's the code for you. Bam. Let's drop both of these into a sleeve. And these are actually two that I needed in the binders. Here we go. I think I've got about 80% of the Scarlet and, Vi Scarlet and Violet binder complete. I want to see if I can get See if I can get up to 90% in today's opening. Okay, white code card. Let's see, is this one going to be empty? Nope, we've got the Pomot character rare and can't double it up again, but that's okay. You know what? I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking this uh, swish method. It feels like, uh, feels like it's too easy to like miss a pull. Maybe I'm gonna have to immediately just abandon that. Let's see, we'll go through this one again. Black code card. Now the code colors shouldn't mean anything, but people out there are saying that they feel like there's some kind of consistency. I think it doesn't mean anything anymore. I've seen whites with nothing and I've seen black code cards with nothing in it too. So pretty cool. How long were we all saying, I wish the code cards didn't mean anything anymore. So you can open it up and not know if you're going to get a pull. You can know if it's going to be random and professors research. Bam, too many professor research research cards. But I guess one cool thing of there being a hollow in every pack is I'm definitely not chasing for random hollows anymore to finish a binder out. You know, sometimes like Chilling Rain or Fusion Strike, if there was just a few more you needed, ah, oh, Don Dozo. You could obviously go on TCG Player and just buy them, but if you wanted to pull them, it's not really fun to have to buy a bunch of packs of something after you've already hit like all of the big chases from it. Let's see though. Honestly, I'm feeling like one good alternate art out of these dozen today. Houndstone for the hollow bam. So far, one EX and two character rares. Okay. So far, not bad, but that means I think we've already guaranteed less than the less than a booster box amount of hits out of these, unless the last ones just have a ton of double hits and them. Cloth for the hollow, another code for you. Hopefully you guys are having better luck from these codes than I'm having already. But even when I open a bunch of three packs and there's nothing inside of them, for some reason, I still just feel like they're my favorite product. I pulled some of my coolest alternate arts from Sword and Shield from the three packs. Do we just get back to back cloth? So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to probably not open another dozen after this, but I think I want to do... Uh, 36 of the single sleeved packs and see how that fares but it seems like for scarlet and violet the best bet is a booster box and i'm right on for the hollow this is not looking good now this right side that i'm opening up first here this was all of the don dozo promo side so we'll see obviously they're all just totally random everyone's luck is different but i'll be uh i'll, I'll be surprised if the arcanine side is a little better professor's research no halfway through this first stack just a couple character rares and an ex i don't know 
I feel like maybe I should have bought another booster box. But for the first time, it feels like you definitely could pull every card in the set if you wanted to. I feel like if I sat here with like a case of booster boxes and just went through all of them, I could definitely finish the set without trading. And before, that felt like you would have to spend a lot, lot more on product, on booster boxes and stuff just to get there. Oh no, this is not looking good. Let's see, four more left on this side. I tried to keep them all in order too, like every three was the uh, the pack that they came out of. We've got LeChonk, Starly, Lucario, Rock Chess Plate, Bisharp, Picnic Basket, and Pawmot for the Hollow. Another code for you. Okay, last three from the Don Dozo side, which means all three of these were in the same packs. Let's see if there was another fully empty one, or if we can at least add one more to the binder from this side. Torkoal, Clauncher, and Rev of Room. Bam. I definitely have all of the hollows that I need for this set in the binder. All of the uh, commons, I think there's just one uncommon that I don't have. We got the Cacnea, Sandile, Mareep, EXP Share, Stone Jorner, Penny, King Gambit, Meow Scarda, and Slowbro Hollow. There we go, code for you. All right, last pack magic from the Don Dozo side. Something in my gut is telling me Arcanine's got the pulls. I don't know why, here we go. Watch us hit the Miriam alternate art right here after I say that. Spirit Tomb, Ultra Ball. We have got the Stone Jorner, uh, Energy Search, and Annihilate. The only thing about the new way that the packs are set up is like as soon as you see that first reverse you're like ah, okay i didn't hit anything too crazy my best shot you know is like a character rare and then if that second card is a reverse you're like man my best now is just like an ex stone joiner oink alone and armor rogue ex or the standard guaranteed hollow all right so far though arcanine side not looking too good we got tropius Pokeball, Rotom, Palpad, Jacques, Floragato, Zangoose, Lucario, Beach Court, no, and Rev of Room. See what I mean though? It's like as soon as you see those reverse holo slots are empty, it's like, well, the best I can get now is an EX, and I'm always happy with an EX pull, but oh, I feel like I saw something in here. I saw something this one. Is it another character rare? Which is mostly what I need to get in the binder switch. Ah, no, Growlithe. And it was the edge of the Coridon EX that I saw. So far though, I think we can guarantee unless every one of these other packs had like a hit at least in them and some doubles, the booster boxes are definitely going to win this time around with Scarlet and Violet. But now what I'm curious is, is that going to continue through all of Scarlet and Violet. Is Paldea Evolved going to be the same way? About a dozen guaranteed hits per booster box. Coridon, hollow code for you. Bam, Arcanine, you are letting me down. I just told everyone that I thought this side was gonna be better, and I don't know, so far, so far it's not better. We've got Crow Gunk, it did Dene, Curlia, Breloom, I'm not even gonna try. We got Heracross, Maridon, no! But, the room and a slow bro. This is a really awesome slow bro hollow though. Something about it, just like the coloring on the actual slow bro has very like base set vibes to me and it. Let's keep this going though. But as you've seen, definitely a ton of mix of, of uh, white and black code cards and it doesn't seem to have any effect on the pulls. We've got the EXP share, Stone Jorner, Staravia, uh, Houndoom, and the Hollow Bam. But like I said, as soon as you see those empty reverse slots, it's like, oh no, oh no. Okay, Booizel. Energy Retrieval, Lechonk, Slowpoke. I feel like Lechonk is the new mascot. Like, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of Lechonk like merch and promos and stuff like that throughout all of Scarlet and Violet, which I think is cool. Let's keep it going here. About halfway through this Arcanine side. Just some EXs and character rares so far. Nothing crazy, no alternate arts, no special illustration rares, which are the same thing. We've got Greedent. <sighs> and oh, why did for some reason I thought that was an EX, that extra silver on the edge of that King Gambit fooled me for a second. But in terms of EXs, I think I just need the Spydops EX. And then I've got all of the EXs 
in the binder. We've got Potion, the Wug Trio, Judge, Switch, uh, Jacques, and our Boliva for the rare. Bam, code for you. Just a couple left. Just a couple left from the Arcanine side. Now let me know in the comments, I'm sure you guys will. Have you opened a bunch of three packs? What's your best pull bin from it? Do you feel like the booster box is the only way to go to kind of like get some value out of the packs? There we go, Clauncher character rare. Can we double it up with the Spydops EX? There we go, all of the EXs are now in the binder. Let's drop both of these into a sleeve. Clauncher one that I've already got in there though. Maybe I can use this to trade for another one. Let's drop the Spydops EX into a sleeve and then drop it into the binder. Bam, okay, let's see. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Not looking good. We'll do a recap at the end of this one for sure. Got to see how it fared to the booster box, but unless we get a nice uh, special illustration rare in this one, I think there's no chance. We've got Miriam. Oh no, Pomut, Ah, Marie, and Team Star Grunt. There we go. Nice little full art trainer. Another one that I needed in the binder. And here is the promo for you. So I guess I'm totally wrong. You could hope for more than an EX in that last slot. I thought those they would put in the one. Uh, at the very front, but I guess that's just the special illustration rares. Still though, it's really those reverse slots that you want to have a pull in. We've got Quaxley, but maybe Arcanine side is coming through. We've got Flaffy, Blissey, Ultra Ball, Bombardier, and Cyclazar for the hollow rare. Just a few left. Honestly though, like I said, opening a dozen three packs is always like my favorite thing to do when a new set comes out. I'm really stoked with this, added some cards to the binder, and now I guess I know, I've learned my lesson. With this one, it's booster boxes. We've got the Rotom and Quackival for the Hollow. Four packs left, four chances for something amazing to happen. Four chances basically for a special illustration rare, which is the only way we could match the booster box at this point. For me though, at least, I'm always talking about my luck. We've got Silicobra, Pineco, and Meow Scarda. Bam, okay, three left. That means this is all one three pack here. Let's see if it's gonna be all empty or if they gave us at least one pull. Crushing Hammer, Starly, Flittle, Shroomish, Ultra Ball, Esparthra, I definitely am saying that one wrong. Toxel, Quaxley, and Cyclozar. Oh no, 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 two, two chances left. I guess technically six, because there's like three slots that could have a pull, which is pretty cool. We've got Flabebe, Toxel, Greedent, the Villian, Dash Bun, Crocorok, ah, Oink Alone, and Revaroom. Okay, last pack magic. Then we'll do a nice little recap, see how this fared against the booster box. I'm feeling very confident though. Last pack magic, there's gonna be something in this one. We've got Flabebe. Toxel. I hate how the hollow though makes you think there's something in every pack. We've got the Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, just pulled the full art of that. Lucario, Potion. This is our last chance for at least a character rare. Ah, Starly for the reverse. And Don Dozo. How fitting is that for the last hollow? All right, here's the code. Let's do a little recap. Okay, the 12 three packs were no match for the booster box. Here we go, Spydops EX, Coridon EX, Maridon EX, Clauncher character rare, Drowsy character rare, Pawmot character rare. Yes, I know they're called illustration rares and the Team Star Grunt, seven hits, but you guys know me, I love to rip packs. Maybe I'll do 36 of the single packs next. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub, I post new ones every week, but until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.